What's up guys, this is John with Gone with John. Today we are taking a look at the NVIDIA Shield and more importantly, some of the Nintendo emulators for the Shield. Now for the Nintendo, I use Retro 8 emulator. Retro 8 is absolutely wonderful. You can find it over on the Google Play Store under Nintendo emulators. Now, if this is your first time loading up the Retro 8, what you're gonna wanna do is put all of your Nintendo ROMs or games onto a flash drive to plug into your Shield. Now what I do is I put it in a folder called games and then a different subfolder called NES and then I've got a folder for PlayStation, a folder for Super Nintendo, etc. So put all your Nintendo ROMs in that NES folder, stick that bad boy into your Nvidia Shield as far as your USB and then you're going to want to come into here and set everything up for the first time. First thing you're going to do is go into options and hit settings, go over here to ROM directory and then at the top up here you can select these three bars go to your hard drive or flash drive where you have your games folder select it and then select your nes folder for nes and it'll show you all your roms in there hit select and now you have got your rom directory set up so you are almost ready to start playing next thing you want to do is go up here to controller one and we want to set it up to map the buttons so what we're going to do and this is super easy with the shield go in here for which input you're going to want not the shield remote but shield controller whatever version it happens to be and you'll notice everything is already set up for you here so that is very very handy what I like to do is take special note of where start is and where select is because those will be handy up down left and right everything's pretty much the same A and B is uh, I believe A and B on your shield remote so nothing fancy there so we've got this set up now. We can back on out of there. Next thing you're going to want to do is go over to Sync and click the Sync button. This is going to let your emulator app find all of your games and it will download any cover art if possible. Click OK and wait a few minutes while it goes through and finds all of your Nintendo games. Now you are ready to go up to the Games category, press to the right, and you can select through all of the games that you have downloaded uh, previously. Now you can find games, like I said, at Cool ROMs. You can search Nintendo ROMs under Google and see if you can find any that way. Um, you can also find them on a lot of Torrent websites like Pirate Bay, etc., etc. I'm not going to get too deep into that, but if you're looking for ROMs, that's where you can find them. I don't feel bad about downloading all these ROMs because my parents spent thousands of dollars buying me all these Nintendo games when they came out. So they've gotten my money pretty well at this point. So select a game that you want to play, hit the A button, and it will tell you if there's any load games, save games previously, so you can load them up. I'm just going to select new game for this video purposes, and you'll see here Legend of Zelda. So push the start button, that is the right joystick, press down on it, and you can then select a new character. Um, very, very simple to do that. Register your own name. And to do that, I'm hitting select, which is pressing down on the left joystick button uh, to go through. Select is the left joystick button on here. Right joystick button pressing down is the start button. So we'll start a game out here. And again, you can see just old school Legend of Zelda from back in the 80s. Very, very fun game. And the Nintendo, uh, NVIDIA Shield has plenty of uh, power to push these. They're not very graphically intense games. It's an 8-bit game, so very, very basic, guys. But this is how I set up the Nintendo ROM emulator on my Shield. Now, I did another video a while back about ROM uh, emulators not working on the NVIDIA Shield, and that was after they did a, a particular update, but that has since been fixed. Everything works again. Um, so feel free to download some ROMs, put them on a flash drive, and get them in there. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below i would love to uh, help you out if you're having a hard time or a problem getting everything set up i feel like this video is pretty self-explanatory as far as what needs to be done to go ahead and get started playing but again leave me a thumbs up if this helped you i would love to hear from you guys if you have any questions comments etc let me know in the description blocks down below and uh, yeah that's really uh, about it guys super duper easy to do Get your ROMs on there. I'm going to do another video here soon about the Retro 16, which is Super Nintendo, and about FPSE, which is the PlayStation. So we'll get into that in another video. So hit subscribe, check out the videos, guys, and uh, enjoy that NVIDIA Shield. It's got a lot of cool options, and we'll cover those in some of the upcoming videos.
Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.